Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd and this is going to be the NBA DFS video for today. So we're going to be going over the recap of yesterday's picks and how they turned out. The injuries in play for tonight's slate, it is an 11 game slate, so a pretty big one overall. And then my picks for both DraftKings and Fandle, but we're going to get started off with my recap from yesterday's picks. So on the DraftKings side, we had George Hill, $3,800, looking for 19 points out. He got to 21.75, so he was a hit. Kate Cunningham, probably one of the biggest chalk plays yesterday on a five-game slate. $3,600, looking for 18 points on him. He got to 12. He was a miss. He shot two for 14 yesterday and 0 from 9 from the field. He played the minutes, just his shot just wasn't going in. You know, he's a rookie in his second game coming off an injury. It's going to happen, but... Even in like a lot of GPPs, he was drawing like 50% ownership. So it's not like we were the only one playing him yesterday either. Then small forward, Josh Hart, $4,900, looking for 24, 25 points out. He got to 34.25, so he was a hit. Then we had Thanasis on the Kupo, $3,100, looking for 16 points out. He got to 23.5, so he was a hit. And then Jonas Valanciunas at that center position, $8,500. Looking for 43 points out of him, he got to 50, so that was a hit. So overall, a very solid day on the DraftKings side, minus that Caden Cunningham, which was the chalk anyways. Then on the FanDuel side, we had Kyle Lowry, $5,900, looking for about 30 points out of him. He got to 40 and a half, so he was a hit. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, this is one that I kind of did like a little bit after Brandon Ingram got ruled out. Obviously, it was going to be him, Jonas Valanciunas, Devonta Graham, Josh Hart being the main scorers on offense for this team overall thought he had a little bit better game we we're looking for about 30 31 points on him he got 21.4 he was a mess but he only shot four for 14 from the field overall then josh hart once again 5500 dollars looking for about 27 28 points on him he got to 33.3 so he was a hit and then Giannis at power form eleven thousand three hundred dollars looking for about 56 57 points out of him he got to 60.1 so he was also a hit and then back to jonas valanciunas once again eighty six hundred dollars looking for 43 points out of him he got to 46.8 so he was a hit so four out of five on the fan side as well eight out of ten on the day overall pretty solid day i did pretty well overall yesterday and i hope you guys did as well but with that being said we'll get moved over to the injuries for tonight's slate so the Trailblazers are all the way healthy. The Cleveland Cavaliers are missing Kevin Love and Orcora once again. This is the same as the last time out. Obviously, the Kevin Love one is the biggest news. I believe they only played an eight or a nine-man rotation last game, too. So really shortened up, gave some guys some extra minutes, especially in that front court overall. Then for the New York Knicks, Taj Gibson and Nerlens Noel, both game time decisions questionable to play today. So we'll just have to see if they end up playing or not. Sounds like Malcolm Brogdon should be back for the Pacers today. Jackson, Lamb, and Warren are all still out. The Boston Celtics are all the way healthy at this point in time. The Orlando Magic are without more. Isaac, Fultz, Carter Williams once again. And then Gary Harris is questionable. I assume he's going to miss once again, though. Chicago Bulls just missing Kobe White and Patrick Williams, so no changes there. Philadelphia 76ers without Simmons, Ryler, Tobias Harris once again, and Danny Green is out in this game too. They do get Joel and Bede back, so that's a major boost to their offense overall. But you're just going to see some of these other role players having to step up tonight once again. Toronto Raptors are without Watanabe, Siakam, and Scotty Barnes once again. So this is the same exact thing we were looking at the last time out. For the Washington Wizards, they are without Cassius Winston, Rui Hachimuri, Anthony Gill, Thomas Bryant, and now Davis Bertans as well. So Bertans' minutes are going to have to go somewhere. We'll see where they end up going. Maybe it's a Danny Advia night, but not really something that I'm willing to risk on a 11-game slate, though. And then for the Atlanta Hawks, the Kung Wu's out once again. Collins is questionable. Trey Young and Bogdanovich are both probable at this point in time. And then for the Brooklyn Nets, Kyrie Irving out, and then Nick Claxton's still out. Supposedly this illness he's dealing with, they expect him to be out a week, so it must be pretty bad. They said it's not COVID-related, though. Must be like a really bad flu or a virus or something that he's just trying to fight off and he can't get past it right now. So hopefully everything works out for him. Then the Clippers without the same four guys once again, Abaka, Kawhi Leonard, Morris, and Preston. Then one of the bigger news for the day is the Timberwolves are without Russell. And then Patrick Beverly is questionable. He did miss the last time out too. So if he doesn't end up starting, we could see Malik Beasley or um, Jordan McLaughlin in that starting lineup. Both could end up being pretty good values on the slate overall today. For the Denver Nuggets, just Murray and Kankar out once again. For the Grizzlies, just Dylan Brooks out once again. So no changes for either of those two teams. Dallas Mavericks, Maxi Kleber out once again. Christoph Porzingis questionable. See if he's going to play or not. He's missed the last few games. Trey Burke looking like he has a chance to play for the Spurs. Zach Collins out once again. Doug McDermott is questionable. We'll see if he's back today or not. Charlotte Hornets are all the way healthy. Warriors are just without Thompson and Wiseman, so no major changes there. 
And then last but not least, the Pelicans and the Kings. Zion Williamson out once again. Looks like Herb Jones is probably not going to play. And then Brandon Ingram is questionable with that hip injury he's been dealing with. And then the Kings are all the way healthy. So that's a quick, quick little rundown on all the injuries for tonight's slate. Quite a few out there. A couple more that might pop up. A couple guys that might get ruled out. But nothing too terrible for an 11-game slate, honestly. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my picks over there. So at the point guard position, I went with Jalen Brunson. $5,100. $5,100. His price actually went down after yesterday. He had a very solid game, ended up in that starting lineup. $5,100, looking for 25, 26 points out of him, averaging 26 and a half on the season. I got him projected for 27 tonight. I assume Kristaps Porzingis is still going to miss in this game. We'll just have to see if he ends up missing, if Jalen Brunson ends up starting once again. Probably going to be a pretty popular play, but probably going to be a pretty good one as well. And then shooting guard position, we got Malik Beasley. His price tag has actually been dropping, $4,100. He's played relatively decent in the last two games. And now D'Angelo Russell is out tonight as well. So should be seeing quite a few minutes out there tonight. We're only looking for 20, 21 points out of him. I got him projected for 27 points at this point in time. So looking like one of the best plays on the slate overall so far. Then at small forward, we got Sheev Mikhailu. And anytime, you guys know me, anytime I get to play a Kansas Jayhawk, I'm going to get a little bit excited on the inside. But he's a good play overall. Looking for 18, 19 points out of him. Last time out, he played very well. I believe he had like 33.75 points. Don't quote me on that one off the top of my head, though. And very good matchup. Same matchup as the last time out against the Washington Wizards. Got him projected for about 21, 22 points at this point in time, but he definitely has upside for more. Then at the power forward position, we got George's Niang, and he's $3,800. Looking for 19 points out of him. He played very well last time out as well. The 76ers team is missing a lot of pieces. He's going to see a decent amount of minutes once again tonight. I have him projected for 22 points, but there's definitely upside for more if he's playing well tonight. Then last but not least, we got the center position, Joel Embiid. $10,300 seems like a hefty price tag considering what he's done this year, but this is Joel Embiid. I heard a stat earlier today, like his usage percentage with these guys that are going to be on the floor tonight is 40%. And if he gets that, that's just ridiculous. There's no way that you can't play him. You know, going against Nikolai Vucevic, I don't think he's really going to slow him down at all. So it could be a monster game for Joel Embiid tonight. And if he's on that monster game, you want to have him tonight. Like, it's just going to be good. I haven't projected for 53, but this is Joel Embiid. You know, if he's somewhat healthy... Because he's probably not going to be healthy all year, like with his knee and everything. But if he's somewhat healthy tonight, you know, he's a guy that can get you 60 plus points pretty easily. But if you go with these five players on the DraftKings side, you have $23,000 remaining, just over $7,600 per player. So once again, definitely could spend up for a pay up option if you want to do so. Plug and play some value elsewhere. And as always, just get real creative how you build your lineups tonight. There's a lot of options out there given the nature of the 11 game slate. So if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to reach out and I'll definitely be here to help you guys as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to FanDuel and talk about my picks over there as well. So at the point guard position, we got Terry Rozier, $5,500. He returned to the lineup two games ago. He's played 33 minutes both games since returning. Pretty good matchup against the Golden State Warriors here. You're only looking for about 27, 28 points out of him. I got him projected for 29 points at this point in time. Definitely has a little bit of upside for more as well. Then shooting guard position, we got Malik Beasley once again. Looking for 22, 23 points out of him. On the FanDuel side, I got him projected for 26 points, so looking like a very good value once again. Once again, D'Angelo Russell is going to be out in this game. Should see more minutes for Malik Beasley overall. Then at small forward, we got OG Ananobi. And for some reason, FanDuel decided not to up his price, even though he dropped 48 Point two Fando points last time out. So he's still at $7,300. Same matchup as before. Scotty Barnes is still out. Why would you not go back to the well again? 37 points to what we're looking for him. That's pretty much what he's averaging on the season. Got him projected for 40 at this point in time. But he definitely has that upside for more like we've seen the last game out. Then power forward, we're going right back to George's Niang. We're looking for 19 points out of him. Got him projected for 21 on the Fando side. Looking like a solid play once again. Definitely has a little bit of upside for more if he's playing well tonight. And then last but not least, at the center position, once again, Joel Embiid, $9,700. Looking for about 48, 49 points out of him. Got projected for 52 on the Fandle side. Definitely could be a monster night for him once again. But with that being said, if you go with these five players on the Fandle side, you have $29,300 remaining, just over $7,300 per player. So definitely could pay up for probably one stud, find some values to plug and play, or go with a little bit more balanced approach. Like I mentioned, it is 11-game slate, so there's definitely a lot of different options out there. Plug and play, see what works best for you guys. 
But with that being said, these are my picks for both FanDuel and DraftKings for today, November 3rd. As always, if you guys have any questions at all related to NBA DFS, be sure to let me know. Leave them down in the comments below and I will answer your questions as quickly as possible. I'll also be listing all the different injury news and starting lineups that come out throughout the day down in the comments. So definitely be sure to check that out throughout the day. And then last but not least, be sure to let me know your favorite play on tonight's slate, whether it's on DraftKings or FanDuel. But with that being said, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Greg Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL, helping you with your fantasy football teams. And then with that being said, if you are a new or current subscriber who's yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. I post up daily NBA DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.